Anyone who's ever driven on a snowy road knows it's easy to lose control fast. Run out. Run out. But you can't blame snow for this. When I opened the door, I saw two bright flashes of light and glass flying past my face, and I knew I was in a bad situation. John Crowley has pulled over hundreds of drivers while working for the Duchesne County Sheriff's Office. 1014, we'll be on 300 East. But the one he pulled over in Duchesne last February was the one every officer always worries about. When we stop a car, we have no clue who we're stopping, what's going to happen next. There was no way Crowley could know the man he was pulling over on this ordinary day was Tony Shane Francis, a man with a record of armed bank robberies, prison escape, and assaulting police officers. In fact, on this very day, a warrant for Francis's arrest was being filed in Oregon because he broke his federal parole. Crowley only pulled him over because the plates on the SUV Francis was driving came back stolen. You get your license registration all that? Plates come back stolen off the 2006 Ford truck. No way was Francis going to let Crowley know who he was. So instead of handing over his license and registration, 13, he took off. For the next 25 minutes, Crowley chased Francis, first on dry roads, then wet roads on Highway 191. Several times during the chase, Crowley weaves in and out of his lane. When it started snowing, the chase slowed to barely 35 miles an hour. Then, near the top of Indian Canyon, Francis spun out. Crowley thought it was finally over until, without warning, Francis attacked. I didn't hear a shot fired, nothing. It just, your audio senses just shut down. You, you develop tunnel vision. Crowley ran out of his truck for cover. I actually figured we'd do the run around the vehicle, chase around the vehicle thing for a minute. But one thing Francis probably didn't count on were the off-duty deputies behind Crowley, backing him up in unmarked cars. He probably saw the other vehicles pulling up there and thought, I'm getting out of here, it's not just one cough, officer. This is the dash cam video from the police car right behind Crowley. It brings a lot of emotions. Duchesne County Sheriff Merv Gustin has seen this video several times and still can't believe it. It's hard to watch. I mean, it's just like... We survived that. In that second video, you see Francis coming out of his SUV shooting at Crowley and Crowley running for his life. That's when Francis sees the other deputies, shoots at them, and gets into Crowley's truck to try and drive off. But he wasn't getting away this time. It was probably over 60 rounds fired in less than 20 seconds. When the shooting stopped, deputies found Francis dead. Off-duty officers that were there that basically, in my opinion, saved my life. If they weren't there, I think they could have been a lot worse. It's amazing Crowley wasn't hit at all. You can see Francis with a clear shot at him, but missed every time. To this day, Deputy Crowley says he goes about his job a little differently now, that every single time he pulls over a car, it's always in the back of his mind it could happen again. Every time you're a little bit on edge, just yeah. expecting it to happen. He says he's only alive because of his training. Life-saving. That training is life-saving. 